Alrighty, golf simulation people out there, we have Congary. Congary? Congary is how we're gonna go with. Congary Golf Club. I believe it's one of the fairly new ones, a couple weeks <coughs> old maybe. Um, and that was very healed. But it's coming back. Uh, really liked this course. Really cool layout. It's got these long bunkers uh, instead of trees, sort of, uh, guarding everything inside the rough. Some places give you a lot of rough of room. Some places don't. Uh, the greens are all kind of tucked in weird places. Um, so I found it quite interesting. You also have this, what I'm assuming is pine straw, but it comes across as uh, mud lands or um, just dirt possibly there is the spin we want to see 22 71 and you get about 15 yards of roll out you don't even have to hit it that hard to get it to go the same distance so that is the goal this is a par 5 here on the second look like a pretty good layup there um, Congaree has some nice wide fairways because it drops off into these bunkers. I think they give you uh, the minds of the course designer, I think, at least was giving you a chance to uh, screw up a little bit and still find that fairway. Third hole is going to be a par 4 that goes over some water. It could be drivable. You know, this comes off the club. It's on a really good line. It just is a little bit left. If that carries a little bit and keeps uh, coming to the right, that was a pretty good attempt. I knew I hit that way too hard. And that's the result. We end up on the other side with a short-sided chip instead of staring down a 20-foot uh, chip. It doesn't matter when you make it, though, guys. That's that's for sure because it was a par 4 and we drove up there near the green that actually is a chip in birdie go to minus 1 and the par 5 is next for the fourth hole again a nice wide fairway the layup has some water to contend with and if you want to go for it the water is just absolutely smug on the green over there I uh, am afraid so I go left Hangs up under this tree about one, about an eight iron away, and I just don't want to go right. Let's see. Looks like it came off pretty straight, but does go right a little bit off the face, and ends up on the green though for a par. Taking that minus one over to the fifth hole, which is a par three. Uh, probably a 9 iron or a similar club. And trying to play a tight draw, but that looks like it's staying to the right and going long. So really uh, squaring that up and getting way too much distance out of it. The chip back towards the hole is nice. You can see the water in the background rendered very nicely. Shadows rendered nicely that mud looks like it went away it looks more like sand in some of the places so uh, I think whoever designed this off to take a look they did a really good job and the course um, as it exists in real life is really cool okay this is a long par 4 so I'm trying to get there from 210 it's gotta go oh what a bounce run in there that was a miracle shot you could hit that a bunch <laughs> it would never do that again I apologize for the stats in the bottom right I see I'm going in the water too because I alligator armed that so bad I have to drop on the other side too because I didn't quite make it 63 though now trying to find And that's going to be our first negative, uh, 
first positive score of the day, and it's a plus two double bogey. It's a negative positive score. <laughs> if that makes sense. 235. The drives are looking pretty good today. There's another nice low spinner, 2372, with 140 something ball speed, and you get into the 260. So, my ultimate goal is to be like 150 ball, 2000 spin. And then I'm going to be hitting, you know, 275 drives. And I think I can get there. That seems obtainable. Comes up just short from rolling in for a par. Gonna have to chip it. And that hangs up. And we indeed do get the par. So still even. After one birdie and one bogey going to the ninth. Let's see how this nine holes ends. It's gonna ninth hole's gonna start with a nice drive. Right over the corner and fading into the fairway. You're gonna have a good look here, 144 water right. Super straight. Just left of the pin, a good shot. Almost the same shot here on the par three, following it up. That one comes off a little left, but it's going to be a safely a par as well. I'm seeing if I ever notice that the Garmin app is sitting on that screen. Oh, there we go, I did notice. 11th hole, 420 par 4. I'm liking uh, the length of the backswing here. On these drives. I just edited another video where I was all over the place with my swing, losing balance and all kinds of stuff. So uh, it's good to, when you're someone who looks at yourself swinging a lot, um, I like to see signs that I still have it together. Not really having it together there, finding the green side bunker on a 180 shot and then hitting a bullet out of there and causing another chip. We really want this one to hang up in the circle so that we only get a bogey. And it looks like that will be the case, but we're going to move to plus one on the day through 11. Twelfth hole now. It's another par five. <laughs> Taking aim at it mark about 200 away and just nailing it. It's literally over the top of that red sign. Still going to have a ways in. Look at that. Oh, but this is a par 5, so 190 in to try and get something to happen here. There's bunkers everywhere around this thing, but it comes off pretty clean. It's just going to be short. Get up there. Be an eagle. Be an eagle. Oh, man. A yard away from an eagle. Birdie though, back to even. So two birdies, two bogeys through 12. A very successful day, I would say. Uh, doing a lot of things correctly, including finding fairways on the drives. And I well, jinxed myself as I'm editing. One, two, three here out of the bunker out of the, they just call it deep rough, so I call it pine straw. 55 remaining, third shot into a par four. And I don't think, is it gonna check? It is, thank goodness, that would've been impossible if it went short side on that fringe. Good shot from 55, 180 here. The par three's not super short. <laughs> Oh yeah, I teed that up and then hit a f three iron or something. It was really fun. Tried to hit it straight down. And it did kick some spin off and turned out pretty good. So um, not normally going to tee up six irons, but in that case it was pretty fun. 226, trying to cut the corner over this <laughs> bump. 
walker protection not good when you fall over uh, it's usually not going to get it done and we're going to end up in oh god good thing it's golf simulator because you're not hitting that out in real life you're just hacking it hits it rolls it does not get there we deserve a bogey on that one uh, with how bad that drive was so we will take it in stride we're at plus one 16th hole upcoming a par four a 360 yard venture and a slice not gonna make it to the green little notch out there it's gonna be a bunker shot from about 140 Turn the face over and hold it left. Hit it back towards the hole, 20 yards, trying to save par. And it does hold up in the circle. 17 and 18 coming up. We're going to have to have a nickname for these two holes at the end of the round and start keeping track of if I can avoid self implosion or not on each round. Uh, not starting off great by hitting it through the turn here. 220 left on par 4 from the sand. It's not where you want to be. It's gonna have 76 left. Clean shot in. Trying to save par. It did not look like 76. Ooh, but it was a little far, actually. So, bogey 17, not surprising. Plus 2, to 18. Water kind of in your way if you want to go for it. And so, hybrid down the fairway. Wedge in. Let's see, 1, 2, 4. One more good swing, that's all I'm thinking. It's straight. Run! It's a little short, but it's safe, and it's a par. Plus two for the round. Uh, pretty good one there. Congaree uh, had a great time. Pretty open fairways, interesting layout, and uh, let me know what you thought about it.